how to make your own ambient light. This is a very slowly fading out and in LED circuit. It's based on the preceding uh, video that I've showed on my channel and it was Lighthouse LED schematic. And in fact this is more or less the same circuit. But I use now a power transistor, a BD140 to drive uh, 24 white LEDs. I've put on a filter here to show how the light looks when you filter it with a color filter. So this is a way to make an ambient light, of course only in one color, but that doesn't matter. Um, this is how the circuit is made. It's in fact the same circuit as I have explained earlier. It's in fact a Winbridge oscillator. And the time depending capacitors are these homebrew bipolar electrolytic capacitors from which the positive leads are connected together. It's easy to make. And here are the 24 LEDs. So the capacitors are very slowly charged and discharged and the final transistor, the power transistor, it must be mounted on a heatsink, is driven by this very slowly changing voltage. And that makes that the circuit reacts as it does. Could be uh, useful for a party light or an ambient light. Of course, you can also use other filters. And on the oscilloscope, you can see how the voltage changes parallel to the LEDs. It takes quite a lot of time to see something happen. Here there's, there's happening something. You can see the dot move. And yes, here there is a peak. This is how the circuit was made. Easy to make. Two transistors, PMP, NPN, power transistor here on a heat sink. It gets quite hot when you raise the voltage to approximately 12 volt. Now I'm working on 5.4 volts and here you can see the amperimeter move. And you can see that when the LEDs take their current the current is approximately 100 milliampere. But when I go to 12 volt, it's also possible. Of course, the whole circuit generates much more light, and you can see that the current gets higher, somewhat higher. I also had an experiment in which I Shortcutted the 10 ohms resistor, and in that case, uh, the whole circuit draws 500 milliampere. So that's quite a lot. But I think 10 ohms is good to limit the current that flows through the LEDs and make the whole circuit operate on voltages between 6 and 12 volt.
and now it's working on 12 volts so you can see that the LEDs light up brighter and also the time the way the circuit reacts on the time depending elements changes a little bit